everybody, it's Patricia, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we have empties. Yes, let's get into it. Uh, if you are new to my channel, I'm so glad you stopped by, and thank you for staying and watching. If you are uh, a regular, thank you again for coming and watching and spending some time with me. I appreciate it. Uh, if you are new, if you would subscribe, I would really appreciate that as well. Hit that like button if you are enjoying this video, and please leave me a comment down below. So, let's get started. Got all that out of the way. Um, let me organize what I got here, because as usual, I got some big old candles in here. Um, let's start with those and get those out of the way. Uh, all the candles I have are from Aldi. Uh, since I discovered Aldi candles, I just don't buy any other candles. And they have so many good candles. Uh, every once in a while I'll find one. I'm not, mm, but for the most part, I love Aldi candles. So let's start with these jar candles. First, I have this, they're all Huntington Home, so black currant and elderflower. This smells this smells so good this is a scent I believe you could burn year-round it, it's just it's that good it did not perform as well for me um, there's some left in there it the wicks are too short or something there's this is a little bit defective uh, they wouldn't stay lit so yeah but that's okay for $3.99 that's okay so there's that one Next, pear, chestnut, and teak. I love this. I um, I think this is my backup. <laughs> I think I, I have only found two of them, and I don't see them anymore. So they're gone. Oh, this smells so, so, so good. Yeah, I think this is my backup. I might have it still. I can't remember. But yeah, Ooh, love that one. And then pumpkin cinnamon amazing smells so yummy smells like a pumpkin pie smells fantastic love that and then last I have a different style one this one is the timber wick and the scent is fireside and fig it it smoked you see it what do you call that I don't know all the terms uh, John you know what that's called soot it's sooted or something um, Anyway, but it did burn all the way down. Do you see? It's gone. It burned all the way down. It was a wood wick, but it didn't have that crackle like some wood wicks do. I've had wood wick candles that sound like they were crackling a little bit. This one didn't. The scent is very nice, but I don't get fireside. I don't get fireside at all, and that's why I bought this one. This one cost a little more than the other ones. And I, I just didn't get the fireside. I love, those of you who know me forever, I love By the Fireplace, that fragrance by, um, oh, I can't even remember. Anyway, and I love uh, Bath and Body Works uh, toasted, is it toasted marshmallow or marshmallow fireside or something. Anyway, I like those smoky kind of scents this time of year. And I didn't get that with this. So I was disappointed by this. I do think I will keep that jar, though. It's got a wooden top. Yeah. A wooden wooden top. So um, I think I will repurpose that jar. These other jars are going to go into the recycling bin. And then I only have one hand soap. I don't know why. I only have one, but I do. <laughs> um this one is the uh, Bath and Body Works Sea Island Shore. This was clean cotton, white freesia, and musk. Did not disappoint. It does smell like fresh wash laundry. Yes, it smells heavenly. My family loved it. I love scents like this for the bathroom. And uh, I love the fruity scents for the kitchen. This was, this was great. My family loved it. There we go. Now I've got some smaller things in here. I did manage to do a couple of sheet masks. I am trying to make myself do more. I need to work on my face. It's slipping. It's it's sagging. 
I need to get my lift wand out and I need to work on my face in that aspect. But first, I this still has some stuff in it. I'm going to fold the bottom up so I don't drip it out. This is from Tony, Tony Moly and it's the Illuminating It's Real Lotus Sheet Mask. I use that. That was really nice. I like, I like that one. And then this uh, Dermastin Two-Step Hydrogel Mask with Concentrated Serum. I think I put the pieces in here. No, I didn't. Yeah, that's just the serum. I didn't. <laughs> but it comes in two pieces. It's got a serum you put on first and then the two-piece mask. It's nice. I like it. Do these work? I don't know, but they feel nice. I like them. I like them a lot. Okay, I got some littles in here. I used up my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. This little one I had, so that can go. I used up this um, eye makeup remover. It's actually the Sephora brand waterproof eye makeup remover. This is nice. I love Lancome's, um, what do you call it? Shoot, my brain's not working. Um, Bifacils. This is just as good in my opinion and a lot cheaper. So uh, when I'm ready to uh, order a new eye makeup remover, I'm just going to get a, the Sephora brand. Uh, I used up an Hourglass Mascara. This was the Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. This is really nice. This is right up there, one of my favorites. It wasn't too wet. It wasn't too dry. It didn't flake. It, I, it wasn't uh, high maintenance. I could just put it on and go. I like this mascara. I'm not sure how much the full size costs, but it's worth it. It's a good one. That's a good one. I used up my Tatcha, the water cream. It's just a it was just a small one, but man, I used it up. I love this moisturizer for the summer. And when the spring rolls around next year, I'm thinking about, hopefully I'll have used down a lot of my skincare that I have. I'm really trying to go through it and cut things down. So if I'm to the point where I need to order a moisturizer, I'm going to order the Tatcha water cream for my daytime moisturizer because it is that good in my opinion. And then last, I have a couple of little toners I used, not toners, primers. I have a Stellar a Brilliant Primer. Is that what it's called? Yep. It's nice. It, it's a good primer. And this Yenza Tone Up Primer Essential Glow. It was nice too. Um, I don't, I don't need to purchase it though. Those were that is all of my empties. So, uh, yeah, not bad. Not bad for half of September and half of October. Pretty good. Pretty good. So, guys, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe. Any questions or comments, just leave them down below, and I'll see you next time.